let's go. What's going on? What's going on? It is Maran Jador and I am back for another video. What's going on, babies? Before we even jump into anything, please follow me on all social media at Maran Jador right here on the screen. And this is a disclaimer to anyone who does not know what HRT is. That is hormone replacement therapy. That is when you swap your testosterone for estrogen. So you are basically taking testosterone blockers and you're taking estrogen for a male to female and it's reversed for female to male. Welcome to Fish University for all of my fishies. Welcome, bitches. I am going to be telling you all all of the tricks and trade of being the ultimate fish in the sea. You want to be salmon. You want to be mahi mahi, bitch. To all of my baby fish who have not started HRT, I have comprised a list of 10 things you can do to be unclockable, to be passable. And this is before you start HRT. So this is before you get into your hormones and just some tips on what you can do to remain unclockable and passable, bitch. All right? So from Mama Fish herself, okay, I will be telling you what to do. So listen and learn and get your notepads out, all right? Get your notepads out, bitch. Take notes. Let's get into it. So number one, this is very easy for people to do. This is very easy. Um, and this is one of the best ways to keep you unclockable. All right? Get that hair done. Get that hair. Put some type of hair in your head. Get a wig. Get you something long. Go for the long hair. All right? Go for something that doesn't that hides your face a little bit you want to get some hair so that you will not be mistaken for a little boy all right get you some extensions to put in that doggone head don't be walking around here bald with your little tip bag don't do it number two change your wardrobe throw out all that old shit bitch throw it all out you do not need none of your boy clothes unless that's your style. Some trans women are different. Throw out, throw out the manly ass clothes that got you looking like a linebacker. What are you doing? Throw it out. Throw it out. So you're gonna replace your wardrobe. You're gonna go shopping. You're gonna get you some cute clothes that fit your figure. Do things that are flattering to you. Once again, do things that are flattering to you and your body type. Do not be out here with crop tops and booty shorts. That is not what women have to wear in order to be respected as women. Do not be out here dressing like that. Don't, unless you're young and you like to have fun or whatever, but don't be doing it if you know you look in a mess and you looking like a man with a crop top on and some booty shorts and people can see your crotch and stuff. Don't do that, don't set yourself up. So that is moving me on. Wear dresses and skirts. Wear dresses and skirts. I honestly just comprised this list before I made this video because I was just like, okay, what are some things that people can do? Because I just love dresses and skirts, but I know that that helps. Instead of you wearing like pants or something, especially because you haven't had your bottom surgery, like wear dresses and skirts and that moves me on to the next one you want to have the most seamless tuck of your fucking life every day wherever you're going have it snatched okay snatch to the back and make sure your coochie don't look too fat. All right. <laughs> Y'all, I play too much, but make sure your coochie don't look too fat. Um, make sure, make sure your, your tuck, make sure it's T. All right. Make sure that tuck is T. You do not want it to be looking like a ball giant down there. That is not cute. It's very embarrassing. Not cute. So don't do that. All right. Don't do that. 
watch your mannerism, all right? Sometimes, um, I want to say like, if you're not naturally just very feminine with your mannerisms, you know, then you're gonna have to watch what you do, watch how you laugh rambunctiously if you have not done yeah mannerisms like you cannot be around here sitting with your legs open sitting back you know cross your legs especially if you have one dress in the skirt and make sure you are being a lady have some class always have some class hold your dignity have your class all of that all right this is what i was gonna say because you don't want to be laughing super bumptious especially if you are starting out on your hit and you're just not you know fish enough with your voice voice is always a dead giveaway a lot of the time okay so if your voice is very deep what you want to do is vocal train that is how you are going to change your voice besides surgery so if you cannot afford that, vocal train. And when I say vocal train, I literally just mean you want to talk normal. Like this is how I normally talk. You want to talk normal, but you want to make sure you are not talking on the lower register. If you get on I me, mean, not on purpose, unless that just sounds very natural and feminine to you. Because there's some women who do have deep voices. But you want to make sure that you are not talking like a man. Do not be talking like no man. You, you're gonna get clocked right away, folks, because you're looking like, ooh. Oh, this, yeah. So, in order for you to be passable and clocky, vocal train, so every day, literally just talk a little higher than you would normally talk. And I promise you, it will become your norm. It will just be a normal thing. And it'll just be your regular voice. It'll be your regular head voice. You want to talk in your head voice. You do not want to talk in your chest voice. You do not want to talk in your chest voice. Okay? You want to talk in your head voice. You want to talk up here. Got me? Got me. Next. Feminizing makeup. Learn your face. Learn how to do a little makeup. You don't have to be too intense. But get you a lash. And get you some lip gloss. All right? Get you a lash and get you some lip gloss and make sure them brows are done. Make sure them brows are done. You want to be keeping your appearance up. You want to feminize your brows. So if you have big bushy brows, love your bushy brows. All right. Just keep them manicured. All right. If you have big bushy brows, I'm not saying go arch them, but just keep them manicured. Keep them nice and tight and, you know, pretty on your face. Women typically have thinner brows, but if those are your thick natural brows and they make you look gorgeous and you love that about yourself, do that. Don't give a fuck about what nobody got to say, all right? You going to look good. There are women out here with big old brows and there are bitches out here who don't know how to do their makeup and they make their brows big as hell. They used to be me. <laughs> Learn how to feminize your face. You're going to have to contour certain areas. Get you maybe some blush or something. Find something that just makes your skin look a little softer. I would really recommend using a primer and moisturizer, making sure your skincare is on point. You want to make sure your skincare is on 10 so that your skin just looks flawless. You don't want no rough looking, big old pores on your face. Get you some primer. A little bit of primer with like no makeup will make your skin look so soft and smooth and just gorgeous, all right? Get you some feminine perfume, get you some feminine scents, some body washes, some um, body lotions. Smell very good when you walk around, you know, that's gonna be something to keep you just just cute, clean, and very unglockable, all right? They're gonna smell you, they're gonna be like, oh my God, there's a gorgeous woman in here. Just make sure that you are being authentic. I would say, don't try too hard. When you try too hard, and push yourself rather than just being yourself and you feel like you're already a woman and just being yourself those are two different things that will make a, the biggest distinction because people can see when you're trying too hard it's like okay this bitch is already trans and now she's like trying to be a girl you know what i mean like doing too much and like talking with a funny voice up here like don't do too much be yourself naturally and people will respect you as the woman that you are. So 
just be you, be authentic, be real. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed Fish University from Professor and Master Fish herself, Miss Salmon. That's what you can call me. Call me Professor Salmon, all right? Hope you enjoyed your lesson from Professor Salmon. And this was for humor, but also because I have so many young people hitting me up asking me for tips and things that they can do. So I've put it all in the video for you. And thank you so much, babies, for all of the love we have been receiving. We are at 8,000 subscribers. Make sure you like this video and let's get this to at least 200 likes so that we are growing on my channel and let's get to 25K before December 25th, which is my birthday. All right, Miss Jador, signing out.